Okay, uh, I think I've got it. We're gonna go with a hacker because they're a uh, they've got a whole support set up there. So I'm gonna buy a hacker. Okay, let's get to work. Oh shit, tricks. Uh, hold on. Let's exit to title screen. I don't want I don't want somebody named Trix. That's not that's not a name that I want. No, we're supposed to be going with the uh, the stupid. Semi-referential names. That's the trick. Okay. So... How far back did this send me? Unless... No, I just leveled up. Okay. Uh, so let's go here. Let's hire new crawlers. Okay. Apparently it auto-saved on me or something. So let's load. Let's proceed. Okay, yeah. Win with the auto-save. So let's go with, uh... Hey, two. Okay. So, I'm gonna get a hacker and a void psyker, and then we'll get a prototype, and I think that'll round out the team. I might mess around with some more people, but I think for the time being, that's probably gonna be my best bet. Uh, hire new crawlers. There we go. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna get a hacker, ma male, female, male. Hacker man. Yeah. Like I said, mildly referential. Okay, and for whatever reason, my bank account didn't go down. That's confusing. Well, uh, let's see. Brain Puncher. I think will be the other one. Okay, cool. Why is my bank account not going down? I have no idea. Do these guys not actually cost anything? Did, uh, have we come across a convenient little bug? No. Okay. Well, one way or another, we've got Hard Slab, Hacker Man, and Brain Puncher. And it looks like they're all level 2. Okay, so anybody we hire... Oh. Interesting. Custom Images. So, oh, Combat Event Character. Oh, that's neat. So... Oh. And we don't want to fire him. That would be bad. Okay, cool. I'll look at that later. Light shield absorbs two damage, charges five. Brain puncher, everything's good. Okay, let's take a look at abilities. Um, so I was trying to look at a guide for what were the the best available classes, and unfortunately, um, unfortunately the guide is wildly outdated. So at this point, I'm just kind of running blind. I'm just gonna go with these these three plus the prototype because they're kind of the coolest. I wanted to try engineer. Um, and I might still do that later on, but that'll be later. So, call shadows to attack three times for each target. Each attack deals 10% weapon damage to a random enemy and generates one void energy. Okay. So, void energy, um, if you have too much of it, your character will explode and take damage. So, 30 void energy to bind a horror to the target. When the target takes damage from you, the horror deals 30% weapon damage, leaps to a random target. Okay. Miasma on all enemies deals 50% weapon damage. Damage is dealt immediately and at the start of your next two turns. That's kind of good. Manipulator and Evoker. Okay, so more void energy. Bless the target, deal 50%, gain 10 energy. And then, as it goes higher, it'll do even more damage, and still gain 10 energy. Burn the enemy. When you gain void energy, the amount boosted by 1 to 5 points. Oh, neat. Okay. So it looks like the middle tier ain't, ain't a bad idea. Especially with, uh... Ascendance. Let's see. Deal 50% weapon damage. Uh, let's see. Madness. Okay. When you gain Void Energy, you gain a Psyblade, channeling that. Eh, it's okay. Siphon Life. Void Shell. Cannibalize. Oh, it takes off buffs. Dark Majesty. I'm leaning going down, um, Evoker, probably. Oh, that's the other thing. I never look at, uh, I, I never look at the ranked up skills, which is probably a bad bad idea. I really should look at those. Oh, hello. 
Siphon Life. When Siphon Life deals damage, gain 3 Void Energy and Regeneration, healing 2% health at the start of your turn. Uh, if we get that up to rank 3, that'll actually, uh... That'll actually apply to all allies. Yeah, the more, uh, team buffs I can get, probably the better. Let's see. Oh, Shadow Bolt gains a 30% hit chance. Pure Shield, Void, void Resistance... And all okay, so I'm gonna go Shadow Bolt. Can I not get this? No. Oh, I see. So you got to get three in here. So when you gain Void Energy, the amount is boosted by one of five. Okay. I'm gonna get Ignite and Chaotic Gathering. This way, I have some way of consuming Void Energy because these are gain and generates one Void Energy. Okay, that should be good. I don't know. It, I, you can re you can respec characters. We'll have to figure that out at a later date. Okay, and Hackerman is just going to be Virus Hotlink and let's see, boost the duration of optimization debuffs by one turn. I actually have no idea what optimization. Oh, using this ability applies optimization to friendly targets, boosting their damage by two percent per stack. Sacks to ten, loses stack one stack each turn. Boosts the duration of optimization debuffs by one turn. On the hacker's turn, the ally with the lowest health gains regeneration, healing at the start of their turn for 3% of their maximum health. Okay. Next rank. Boosts it by two turns and even more regeneration. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going with that. He is effectively just going to be heal bot and nothing more. All right, well, I guess the easiest thing we can do is we've hired everybody. Okay, let's check the board for work. We need some things. Okay, so wait for new jobs. We don't want to do that. Black box, that's stored mission. Don't want to do that. Escort a science a scientist. Uh, employer Rhizom, target tech offices. Uh, alert. Okay, escort an engineer. So gray is the easiest. White, green, orange, red. There's probably other colors, but that's fine. Let's go with... Hmm. The thing is... So this will, um... Oh. Okay, so this'll... This'll cost us rep with Tech Engineer Corp, but will gain us Rhizom and UFP rep. I think... I'm just gonna go with the, um... I'm gonna go with the kind of cheesy option and only pick missions that give me a plus five to two factions and a minus to the other. This way we can min-max as much as possible. We'll figure it out. Anyway, um, Rhizom is looking for a team to infiltrate a man manufactory owned by Tex Engineer Corp and protect a Rhizom scientist while they analyze test results on their terminal. Sounds easy enough. All right, um, let's see. Okay, so that's our team. I assume maximum team size is four. Could be wrong. I don't know. Bolstering emotions? Huh. All right. Taking a little while to load. Well, that's okay. I guess, actually, since this isn't a plot mission, it has to randomly generate the environment that we're gonna be going through. I forgot about that specific part. Uh, so it, I guess we will have slightly long-ish load times here and there. Well, that's not really a big, that's not really a big problem. Okay, I'll need to analyze test results on one terminal. I'm not sure of the coordinates or what kind of resistance we'll encounter, but that's where you come in. Violence is for the unwashed masses. I prefer not to get involved in any brawling, lass. You'll, you handle the rough stuff, okay? Ready to go when you are. Let's roll out. Okay, so... Yeah, I really like the tiles here. Oh, hello. A young man strolls up to you and grins, seemingly unconcerned that you're obviously heavily armed and looking for trouble. He nods his head in, a gre in greeting. Hey, how's it going? Name's Mateo Shawland the Seventh, but friends, just call me Shaw. Shaw, what are you doing here? There's danger afoot. Heh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about me though, I can handle myself. You realize from his ready posture and custom gear, Shaw is no stranger to places like this. He looks so relaxed that he might as well be hanging at a bar, but his eyes are careful and studious. He studies you thoughtfully. Tell you what, I'm in a bit of a bind, and I was planning on soloing to this joint, but maybe we can help each other out. 
Up for a little side action. I'm listening. What's your objective? He nods coolly. Cool, cool. Oh, slowly. Cool, cool. Here's the thing. When I'm not breaking into high sec joints like this, I like to unwind by playing the drums. Custom Zil Zildjian skins with my own modifications. Even prototype my own nano ba bass kick drum. You like music? Yeah. Right on. So, like I was saying, I like to unwind by thrashing some drums. Thing is, my band and I were all set to play a show tonight at the local, but these corp yahoos showed up and confiscated our instruments for public health and safety. <laughs> well, is your music a danger to health and safety? He grins. Only if it's played right. Thing is, they stashed my drums in here, somewhere. I was about to go get them, but if you could get them instead, I'd be free to head to where they're holding my guitarist stuff. I'll spot you 100 credits per drum piece. You pick up and leave at the exit on the way out. Sound good? Sounds good. I'll keep an eye out for the drums while I'm in here. Hey, much appreciated. Don't worry if you can't find all the parts. I'll swing back later and pick them up either way. Have fun in there. Stay safe. He flashes you another quick grin, waves goodbye, and ducks out the exit, vanishing from sight. All right, so we have to find his cymbals, drum heads, and drumsticks. That's goofy. All right, is there anything I can do at the front desk? Probably not. We're looking for secrets here, and trash cans. Trash cans have loot. It doesn't look like there's too much of anything to interact with here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to pay attention for... for symbols on the wall, trash cans, Fred sticks all over the place. Okay, gotta make sure nobody's going to attack me while I'm here, but that's fine. What's this? Oh, key card. Oh, right, gotta turn on the flashlight. Eh, it's a little blinding. Actually, kind of makes the, uh... It's very obvious things look a heck of a lot better when you haven't illuminated them. Oh, that's okay. Uh, too dark. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for all the secret bits. Oh, security door panel. I assume I can't interact with it. Try this, uh, try the security key card you found. Oh, there we go. Probably could have tried the, the hacker, uh, too. I forgot we have, like, passive moves that we can use. We're standing in a chair. That is actually really, really weird. Hmm. Is there actually anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Like, we've got these buttons. Oh, we've got a med kit. Alright, uh, that looks, that looks to be the extent of it. Unless there's a, uh, secret panel somewhere. Nah, it doesn't look like any of this stuff animates. None of this. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for the Starcrawler's logo. It shows up on occasional things, and it usually denotes a, uh, a secret secret panel door that I can open up. Oh, we got one of these. Yeah, so these guys are all hand-painted. Okay, so we have Brain Puncher, who has no void energy. All right, uh, so we've got the Corpsec Mark II and Corpsec Observ Observer. Uh, let's go for the Observer, so we can do Shadow Bolt, Ign can't do Ignite, Strike... Oh, pierces shields and void resistance. Yeah, let's go with that. Absolutely go with that. Oh, the Rhizom scientist actually helps in combat. Okay, so we can do virus hot link. Nine damage per turn, one turn cooldown. Versus I could just shoot it. Well, I'll do the hot link. It's got like... No downsides. Also, best defense. Oh, I see. Best defense. So, Meat Shield has a much lower turn cost, uh, time unit cost. So, that would move me back there. That would move me to the end. Well, I'll just shoot it with the minigun. Yeah. Okay. I really wish the team would actually level up in unison. I don't. It always bugs me in games where it's just like, your characters are all different levels. And, I don't know, I guess it's not a big problem, especially because they made it so that, uh... Oh, whoops. I... We actually have a guard. Whoopsie. Well... Okay. Hot link. Oh, that didn't actually do anything to him. Well, that's okay. Alright, so I'm scientist, shoots the guard, a hard slab, eh, best defense. There he goes. That is a really, really good move. Okay. I don't know, I, I just like it when um, every every character is kind of on the same same level system. It just makes it easier. So, 
telephone canister. It doesn't look like we got anything else fancy around here. Um, been playing Regalia a lot lately, and since all the characters are on the same kind of level system, not level system. Oh, booze dash. Neat. Uh, since all the characters are are the same level as each other, you never have to worry about somebody being like overpowered or anything like that. Oh, it's one of those like bird things. Amusing. It's sh wait, why is it shadow pixelated? Huh. Odd. Okay, terminal. Reminder, all users must log out at the end of their work cycle. Failure to do so will re result in immediate reprimand. Take a closer look. You uncovered what appears to be the inner office database. You might be able to uncover some information on the location of your objective. Corpsec, drop up in the ball and I'm gonna run with it. Yes, yes, the machine talks to me as well. Only I don't understand terminal-ish. I guess I make this look too easy. Search the database. Several files pop up that look pertinent to your mission. But moments later, the terminal enters lockdown and an alarm begins to sound. Unauthorized search detected, command sequence blocked, and corpse alerted. Please hold for immer immediate termination. Uh-oh. Well, we get combat. Oh well. Whatever will we do? Okay, so these guys are getting through my shields. Barely. Let's go for the Mark II. I don't know. I missed. That sucks. Okay, he's got 10 HP. I'm just gonna shoot it. That way it actually goes down. I'm not too worried about anything. Oh, we have 67 void energy. That's a lot. How do we have so much? I have no idea. We definitely need to get an ability that makes it so uh, we can consume that void energy. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems. I wonder if void energy doesn't... Uh, I wonder if it doesn't go down on a on a um, mission by mission basis. Interesting question, or mission combat by combat. I guess we'll check when uh, Brain Puncher rolls around. Okay, so we've got Mark Twos. We could do a Virus Hotlink. Doesn't really change much. I'm just gonna shoot it. Oh yeah, there's the answer. Oh, can't do that. Okay, so I can't ignite, so we, I'm just gonna hit. Because until we can actually manage our, um... Until we can actually manage our, our void energy, I really don't want to have my, um, my character explode. I did not realize we were generating so much. Alright. Well, that's an easy fix. Let's see, so we got bronze lo lunch box. Opening the box, you find a large quantity of tiny glittering stones. From the looks of it, they're the sales of Piercy Lovalu, widely coveted by high-end designers for jewelry and embellished garments. The common knowledge is that the creatures are now endangered, and goods made from them are considered very exclusive and highly sought after by wealthy, coreward citizens. Take a closer look. Searching the lockbox for more information, you find a bill of sale with details on both seller and purchaser. Uh, report the perpetrators to an animal rights group. Hollow Earth, Hollow Soul would be interested to hear about these activities. You pen a quick missive describing what you found and the responsible parties. You confiscate the goods as well. It's important to prevent the villains from profiting off of abuse of vulnerable species. Nicely done. Okay, anything in there? No. Anything in there? No. No, no. Hmm. If there is something in this room, it looks like it's done -zo. Oh wait, this is an exit. We want nothing to do with an exit. Didn't realize there were multiple exits in these places. Okay, let's turn on the flashlight of extreme brilliance. Oof. Right, let's see if I can hack that. I'm really glad I brought a hacker along. Though, there's no guarantee it's actually... Well... I don't know. I wonder if the hacker always can hack those. Or not. Interesting question. Okay, so that's useless. Let's try this one. Oh, okay, so we have to fight something. And then maybe we get in? Not sure. All right. Why did I do that? Wow. Okay, that generates a lot more energy than I thought it was going to. Well, that's okay. 70 XP. Oh, that's interesting. So every time we fail, we fight. Well, that's actually kind of completely acceptable. Worst comes to worst, we just fight enemies a bunch. 
I mean, they're worth 70 XP per. It's not great. But it'll do. Okay, cool. So the observer has shields. So I can burn just a little bit of my uh, void energy here. I assume if I hit 100, we run into troubles. Okay. Brain puncher. No, we don't we don't want to get that. No idea. The numbers on gaining void energy. Oh, that'll be something for later. Anyway, oh. Has put it been put into lockdown and cannot be accessed. Okay. So I don't think I'm getting into that room. Okay, so we get an intelephone canister, a booze stash. Work late club, Carl, Amanda, Tyson, Veronica, stay till finished. Team building, synergy workshop, everyone must attend. And synergy. Okay. Anything else around here? Yes. Tech Engineer Corps, Corp IS, IPS, first class shipment. You can auction this item. Stealing it will negatively affect our rep with them. Eh, I'll live. Rep is probably going to be harder to farm than uh, anything else. Okay, so what's this? Magnetic lock safe. Okay, I'm probably gonna leave that alone uh, until we're done. Might as well see if I can get the... Might as well see if I can get some way of opening it up. Okay. Brain puncher, can't do anything, so I guess we'll just slice. Shoot. Hard slab. Probably could have planned that out a little bit better. Eh, whatever. I mean, we're barely taking damage as it is, so these are generally pretty easy. Oh, and we get a gun. Not a good gun. Actually, interesting question. How do I... Inventory? Inventory. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to look at loadout. I've got a couple of things. Oh, interesting. In telephone light. Grants the user... 27 experience. Okay. Um, I'm actually probably going to throw it at Brain Puncher. Um, the sooner we get Brain Puncher up uh, a level or two, it'll be better. Okay. Now, Brain Puncher cannot equip that weapon, and we don't have any other weapons. Okay, I was hoping that we'd have, like, another gun. Oh, that's okay. Oh, right, I can't get in here, because I bulked that. I wonder if it's, like, based on level or pure chance. Not sure. Hard to say. Okay, could do best defense, could do meat shield. Let's just do best defense. Unfortunately, we'll burn through the drone's shields. Never mind, we missed. Okay. This way, Brain Puncher can burn just a little bit of that void energy. Not enough, but that's okay. Yeah, we're fine. Let's see, so he's out of energy. I guess I'll just stab it. So we'll have Hackerman shoot that guy. And shoot. And we're good. Okay. Decent amount of EXP, and we get a heavy shield. Okay. Four damage, three charges, energy jolt. It might actually be good on hard, hard slab. Hard to say. Okay, uh... Hard slab. What's my shield? Kind of garbage, this one. Generally better. Okay, uh, at some point I know we can get a much, much better shield. But that'll have to be later date. Okay, well we've got our objective. I'll need a few minutes to analyze test results on this. Can I get started? Go for it. The scientist works quickly on the terminal and soon signals that they are done. Good to go. Let's move. Alright, so that that was it. Well, that was wicked short. Okay, I'm gonna check this desk for a second. It just feels like... Oh, hi. Reminder, okay, don't forget to log out, take a closer look. Okay, database. Huh. Well, let's do it again, and we get more combat. Eh, could be worse. Immediately we get to kill a man. But sometimes that's okay. Whoa. This dude is, uh, 
having a bad one. A very bad one. He is a very dead man. Okay, so that's locked off. I'll have to figure out how to make my hacker uh, maybe a little bit less garbage. Okay, so we're actually finally out of... Um, we're finally out of void energy. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this is easy peasy. I could probably start going for maybe some of the harder marks if I feel like it. Okay. Opening the box, we find a substantial pile of so small soft furs. From the looks of it, they're the skins of a Galatrian Toshk, widely coveted by high-end designers. Okay, so it's the same thing. Take a closer look, report the perpetrator, and nicely done. I'm just going to keep doing that. I don't know what being the anti-poacher is going to do for me, but I'm going to do it. Key card. I wonder if that'll let me get into some of the terminals that I got locked out of. No idea. Should probably, um, maybe lay off on the hacking. It could screw me. Quark Illustrated. Funny. Okay. Oh, hello. You found a piece of Shaw's drum kit. You close up the container and take it with you. Okay. Yeah, those are honestly the main reason why we're here. The, uh, the reward for sh getting Shaw's full set is like 300 credits, which we kind of desperately need. Lots of Intellifoam around here, too. Uh-huh. All right. Boostash. Nope. No Boostash. They have a lot of these drinky birds. I'm kind of curious if the developers specifically... Um... I wonder if the developers specifically uh, just made them extremely prevalent as a as a recurring joke. Probably. Another boost dash. Okay, so what do we got? Hollow top. Could sell it, but no. We're gonna leave it alone. We're making plenty of money and we'll be making more. And I don't know, whatever. I'm just Stealing is wrong. Raiding their offices and murdering their their employees. Uh probably also wrong. Whatever. Those are not exactly what I call particularly de uh, dangerous. They're very, very killable. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything below? No. Anything on? Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Discarded. Okay. Random loot. I like it effectively. We're space janitoring. We're showing up and we're raiding their, their desk. Okay, we get another piece of the drum kit. We get another piece of the drum kit. As you turn to leave, Shaw strolls into the room behind you. Oh, hey, fancy meeting you here. I was dropping by to grab the last piece, but you beat me to it. Nice work. Cheers. Hey, how about I hook you up with some concert tickets? The next tour is through the core, so you probably can't attend yourself, but they're worth a few credits. Interested? Eh, sure. Let's see. You hand Shaw his drum pieces and he swaps you for the tickets. Good deal. I'll get you the creds when you get home. Stay safe out there and, and be well. See you around the rim. He waves goodbye and exits the room as calmly as he entered. All right. I don't know if that was actually a good deal, but it could have been, or it could be a complete waste. Let's see, is there anything? No, there's nothing left. I'm trying to be thorough about raiding everybody's uh, desks, which sounds completely silly, but... I mean, we're, we're taking their trash, and I guess I'm going to be able to sell it for something. Okay, security door. Hack the door? And we got it open. All right. Hello. The server terminal glows dimly in the darkness. Take a closer look. You've chanced upon the server terminal controlling the systems of the facility. If you're feeling bold, you could access the core systems. Um, disarm the security systems. Okay, accessing the security system in the facility without raising alert would be extremely difficult, but you could potentially deactivate some of the traps in the area. Uh, let's see. Have Hackerman hack the security system. Okay, you hammer on the keys, but the encryption on the security system is too dense. The snooper program starts to ping the terminal from the usual activity, but you quickly end the session before it can lock you. Will you risk... Continue searching. Try again. 
Okay. You blaze through the security subsystems, disabling traps and rewriting alarms until every security feature has been disabled. Several snooper programs attempt to make sense of the intrusion, but there are simply no match for your speed and skill. You lock out of the terminal with victorious flourish. Yeah, if I can boost my hacking chances, that'd be real nice. Okay, so this might be a good room to look for um, secret panels. Don't know where they'd be, though. The issue is the flashlight makes everything a bit blinding. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna give that a pass until we can continue... Well, until later. Okay, so we get another key card. Which probably isn't going to do me any good anymore. We'll see. Okay, can I get in there? No. I can get in... I can get in here, sort of. There we go. Anything? Yes. Okay, Brain Puncher approaches the lockbox and opens the class without a hitch. The box is completely cleaned out, except for a lone cred stick languishing at the bottom of the box. Brain Puncher munders darkly and stalks away. Take the credits. 118. Ooh. We are going to be able to afford mon... well, money. We're going to be able to afford quite a lot of things. Okay, filing cabinet has more random junk. Looking for more of those in telephone canisters, honestly. Those are kind of the main reason I'm hunting so much. They seem to be super common around here. And if I can load Brain Puncher up with those, uh, that'd be a really good thing. Okay, no dice. Well, let's check the inventory for a second. Yeah, we're starting to fill out. Okay, so Brain Puncher. So in telephone can canister, 27, 27, 27. Yeah, it's not great. But it'll be fine. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh. Shaw and the Massive Effects tickets. Oh, that's funny. It looks like it's rare enough that it might actually sell for a, a decent decent amount. Okay. Well, there's nothing over here, right? Yeah. There's probably... Oops. There's probably a couple of uh, places that I... I haven't... found looted. Yet, I don't know, whatever. We're out of void energy. I wonder if it goes down over time. And, like, that's how it works. That's an interesting question. I'm gonna wipe that guy out with a quick attack. Yeah, there we go. And the nice thing about Hackerman's uh, hot link is it takes significantly less um, time units. Honestly, I'm just gonna shoot the thing. That might not have been worth it. Well, that's okay. Eventually, we'll be able to actually consume the, uh... We'll actually be able to consume the, the void energy and nuke some things. I want some more AoEs if I can get them. Okay, nothing useful. What over here? Big fat nothing. What's this? Off screen fatal error. Optimization Hacker 5. Clear the corruption from the root system. Okay, so the terminal seems to be in need of IT support. Sure. Uh, the security panel beeps angrily and the corruption intensifies. The alarm begins to sound from inside the terminal. Alright, well we get to kill a dude. Boom. This poor man. He's just here, working his night job, and suddenly we just show up and gun him down. Seriously? It what is this, like, we're kind of a midnight run, probably? Alright, here we go. The corruption begins to clear from the screen, and the terminal plays a pre-recorded message. This system has su suffered NAN fatal errors, and must reboot to install updates. Do you wish to engage security? Unlock override prior to reboot. Ah, uh, sure? Positive affirmation un acknowledged. Unlocking security override. This system will now reboot and install updates. Estimated reboot time is NAN lunar cycles. Please wait. Oh! Well, there's the secret. Okay, so we get auto ciphers. And Cyber Ninja's Martial Blueprints. So, for forging a slumbering blade. Neat. So, they have uh, crafting in this game. That's a new one. Okay, we get that. We get opening the box. Okay, so it's pelts. Take a closer look, report it, and we take it. I assume that there's no, um, no real drawback to that. 
Okay, so we found a, another secret here. We get a cred stick. Kinda wish you could almost like shoot these guys ahead of time. Eh, I guess that'd be a little bit cheap. Yeah, so it looks like we lose void energy over time while like wandering around the world, quote unquote. That's actually, that's fine. Okay, so let's uplink him, shoot him. Yeah, I like the time unit system in this game. It's very uh, Final Fantasy X. Yeah, I think that's part of the reason why I like the game so much. It is a bit slow, uh, which is unfortunate. The the randomly generated dungeons are probably going to get a little bo boring as we go along. Um, oh, vending machine! It's a cheery Galaxy Mart vending machine. Uh, let's see. All of those. Uh, sure. Let's let it scan us. Stored for future reference. Okay, let's see what it has for sale. So we got a bunch of auto ciphers. Secret brew loot. Cost a hundred. Oh, can I can I sell? <sighs> I think I can sell stuff. So we can buy auto cipher. But we don't care that much. And then it's just a bunch of random trash. Let's see what this one has. A loot bar. Yeah, none of this seems particularly useful. I mean, the auto ciphers would be nice, but I'm carrying a... I, I, I'm trucking around a hacker, so it's probably not necessary. Okay. Pull up the map. Okay, we're at 100% explored, so we've gotten everything. Uh, so I can get out of here. Oh, I can, but I'm not going to quite yet. We've still got that one locked door at the very kind of tail end of everywhere that we couldn't get into earlier. Now that I've lowered all of the security, we should be able to get in. Okay, that one's locked off. Okay, so we want to go here and right. And can I get in? Uh, I guess I'll just use an auto cipher to crack the security. Not that there's probably any reason to come in. Got me a maglock keycard. Okay. Anything else? So that was probably for the server room. Well, whoops. Eh, whatever. We probably didn't need the um, auto ciphers. And I can keep those around. Okay, and... Let's sit, hit no, and then yes. I just wanted to make sure we got all the, the bonus objectives. Okay, so we get a bunch of EXP. Brain Puncher is still a little while off. Well, that's okay. So we get Rise on bonus and minus on tech corp. But there was another one. Oh, that's okay. As you walk into the station, Tallery Hobbs appears, wiping her hands and grinning. It's ready, you want to see? All right. Okay, K, word to the wise before we switch it on. The AI core is intact and readings indicate it's functioning correctly. But I've never seen code like this. Expect this thing to be a little uh, unstable. Sounds great. Let's switch it on. Tallery jogs back to her shop and rolls out the drone on a trolley. She appears to have repainted it, complete with a toothy grin and colorful carapace. Couldn't resist tarting it up a bit. You like? All right, let's light this candle. She punches a switch on the carapace and retreats to a safe distance. The robot whirs to life and swivels to look at hard slab. Master imprint, check. Safety protocols are live. Start reboot routine. The robot lurches to its feet and begins to head towards Doc Sam's saloon. System reboot, check. Prioritize objectives. Seek refreshment, check. Hold up, Sparky. You're working with us now. The robot ignores you and calls over its shoulder. You are a crawler. I am also a crawler. I will kill you with you. I'm not a robot. You are also... Wait, I am a robot. You are also a robot. We are in a bar. Uh... The robot halts and turns to address you before entering the saloon. Meet me in the bar. I thirst for booze and bloodshed. It's killer time. Thought, thought, thought. Well, at least it didn't try and kill us. Okay, you just gained a new drinking buddy. I'll just be heading back to the shop. Okay, bye. I think I actually wanted the AI core. Okay, so we get the prototype. I am so ready. Let us commence to murder. So much fun, something or other. Well, missed that part. Anyway, so he's a level 2 prototype. Unfortunately, I don't think he gets any EXP. Um, so now we got to figure out what we, want to, what we want to do. This guy is kind of fun. So we have a chance of malfunctioning, which is annoying. Let's see. Try 
Trying to figure it out. There's got to be a way that I can deal with the malfunctions. Maybe? Maybe not. When you malfunction, core dump gains a charge. Use all charges to attack once per charge. Okay, that could be useful. Each malfunction boosts your damage by 2%. When you shut down from malfunctions, the stun duration is reduced by 5 to 50 time units. Okay. So going right looks like it deals with the um, malfunctions really well. I, I'm going to have to look at this. Honestly, one way or another, we just got our fourth teammate. So I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode of Starcrawlers. And as always, thanks for watching.